Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to a brand new week. It is Monday, and I thank you for joining me for yet another edition of Five Minutes with Phil. And today, I want to take you to the book of Romans, and I would like to share with you what I think is one of the greatest acts of love that you could ever give to somebody. I know some of you are thinking flowers, jewelry, um, uh, <laughs> tickets to the game, <clears throat> none of that. Okay, I mean, all those are good. All those are good. Okay, but uh, I would like to share with you the greatest way that we could show our love, our support, and, uh, and, and really how much somebody means to us. And it's found when Paul is writing his closing words to his letter to the Christians in Rome. So Romans 15, check it out. We're going to go to verse 30. And here's what it says. I urge you, brothers and sisters, by our Lord Jesus Christ and by the love of the Spirit to join me in my struggle by praying to God for me. There you go. That, that was not a, a setup, okay? I just, I need to tell you that one of the greatest things that you could do to show your love, to show your support for somebody, to show that you really care for somebody, one of the greatest things you could do is to pray for them. And Paul's words are really interesting here, the words that he chooses, because he sees this as an act of love. He says, I urge you uh, by our Lord Jesus and by the love of the Holy Spirit, by the love of the Spirit, to do this, to pray for me. And he not only says, please pray for me, but he actually says, you are joining me in my struggle by praying for me. Now, I want you to think of prayer that way. Just for, just for a moment, I don't know that we grasp this a lot when we pray for somebody. Like if we know somebody who, let, let's, um, let, let, let's say one of our missionaries, for example, okay? And they're doing the work that, at the place that God has called them to do, whether that be here in the States or overseas. And one of the greatest things that you could do is to pray for them. And by doing so, you're actually joining them. As I read this verse, you're actually joining them in their work by praying with them and by praying for them. For me, one of the greatest joys that I get, uh, it, it comes when people tell me uh, that they're praying for me. When people pray for me, um, it's it's something special, and it, it's sometimes when people do that, they really don't even realize the huge positive impact that that makes for me. But let, let's take it off of ministers for a moment, missionaries and pastors. How about our friends and our family? You know, you you and I both know people individually who are struggling today. Maybe it's a health issue. Maybe it's a family thing. Uh, I, you know, it can go all over the place of what our friends and the people that we care about are facing. And sometimes we think, man, I wish I could do something more. But, but as I read this verse, do you know what you're doing when you pray for them? Because a lot of people think that prayer is just a cop out and just, and, you know, it's the easy way out. I disagree with that. I think when you pray for somebody, and not just just a five-second one-off, one but when, when you consistently pray for those people that you care about that are struggling, do you know what you're doing? You're joining them in their struggle. You're, you're walking with them through that uh, disease, through that divorce, through that job situation, through that economic hardship that they're facing. And so... I want you to be encouraged today. When you pray for somebody, you're making a difference. And you're literally 
according to this scripture, you are literally joining them in the same struggle that they are at. And what an incredible act of love for you to pray for somebody. I urge you to do so as soon as this devotion is over. All right? All right. God bless you. Get to praying. <laughs> we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.